Frank Seppi for YouTube with Andre Ferguson, IPB Pro League Men's Physique, 16-time 16, 16 champion. Yo, Andre, why, why don't you just say about to be 17, Frank? Stop. We're going into the Tampa Pro. We're going for 17. I'm about to say thank you, bro. Thank you. Unless, uh... So this is how it shows up. What? Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. I was joking. See, I know how I go. But, <laughs> but all right, so let's talk about posing, right? Posing. All right, we got a guy who comes up to you, he just wants to start men's physique. How does he put a posing routine together for his body? Like Ooh. what like there's certain poses you're you're known okay. hands on hips, okay. you got genetically thick in your shoulders, your chest, your abs look great from that place. We were all talking right. earlier so about shallowness of certain competitors, they can't pull it what off. What I think they should do is this. The first thing I think you should do is, um, you should actually go talk to someone who actually knows what they're talking about, mm -hmm. right? That's number one. Everyone thinks they know what they're talking about, but don't actually know. But how do you find it? Because there's so many people on social that claim to be um, posing coaches and everything else. But I will say this though, a lot of the a lot of um, the IFBB pros that you know know how to pose yeah. are posing coaches. Got you. Like, so, so, and look, I'm not somebody, I, I don't do posing, like it's not my thing, but um, I've hel I help people out all the time with it. So it's not something I don't do at all. It's just not, it's not something I do for a living. So people can't pay me to do posing for them. My homeboy tried to pay me the other day and I was like, bro, you can't pay me, but because you my dude, I will just do it for free. But no, you can't pay me. And the reason why you can't pay me is because it's not something I do. And if you pay me, I'm actually working on your time, not my time. Yeah, you know, you can't be that guy too, because you go to a lot of NPC shows. You can't be that guy, you know, see somebody on stage and no. say something to them. Because a lot of NPC competitors that were like, oh, it's men's physique, I just do a front and back pose. No, but, they, but it's it, way more no, than no, that. No, no, that's a lie, Frank. You know? Yo, no, it's a lie, Frank. Yo, it's front and back front. Yo, Yo but I'm up, saying the way up. that they present it. Yes, is yes, yes. They'll but, do bodybuilding shots, but, but they'll people, turn off. That's the problem. Like, everyone's trying to overcomplicate the posing. Yo, Go look at my routine. Mm -hmm. It's front, back, front. Go look at Sadiq's routine. Front, back, front. Go look at Ben's routine that just won three shows in a row. Front, yeah. back, front. There's no extra transitions. But There's no extra poses. There's no bicep flexes. None of that shit. So we shot, I shot Sadiq before his show, and Sadiq's got a little thing. He crosses his hands like this. Yes, that's X-Man. And then he goes in. That's yeah. X-Man. So that's what I'm saying. You got to put your own flair, and you got to put your own no, but, thing. Uh, but that is every bodybuilder does that. If you go look at, at a routine, if you go look at everyone's routine, almost everybody hits that pose in the middle. And it comes from bodybuilding. That's where that actually came from. It's a pose that, it's a setup move for a front double. But you notice though, like, it's especially on top pros. Yeah, I know. Look at these dogs. <laughs> look at this. He's like, <laughs> they got, Neil's got his eye on that dog over there. Neil's like, don't worry, I got you covered, bro. Got cover. I shit last time. <laughs> yeah. you this time. Yeah. We got to. Yeah, you, we got a $500 fine. Look, look at the, 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 the thing right there that has the bags. Exactly. But what I'm saying is like... Look, he's not playing around. <laughs> he's watching. He's, not play, he's, he's protecting guard. Champ now. He's look. on guard right now. He's like, like Champ, I got look, you. Let's be look, friends. Look at this one. He's like, Champ. Yeah, he's... he's like, I got you. If you like, he, this is him, though. Um, if you're not in the gang, like, hey, look, he just met Neil before, but he already knows we're over here. So if you're like over there, he knows you're not with us. <laughs> That's why his ears went up like that. <laughs> he's like, nah, I'm all, he's like, oh no, I'm on guard too. He's all right. So you're saying like, I've noticed. People, people are overcomplicating the posing, but, 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 it's more to it to know your angles though. Yes, okay. Oh, do not get it. And, and I think, um, you'll stop doing what your favorite competitor does mm -hmm. or shit that you see that other people do that you like. Right. Yo, do what makes you look the best and only that. Yo, dude, Ben comes out, does a front pose, Ventura step to the back, back pose, transition to the front, front pose again, and that's it. He doesn't even have a secondary front pose. That's all Ben does. Sadiq, Sadiq, ah, Sadiq came out, right? Sadiq did a front pose, transition to the back, back pose, transition right back to the front, same front pose again. Same thing Ben does, just the opposite way. I do the same thing. Right. Now, I've seen competitors go out there and they fade because they're so tight and they're like, they're not blowing out there. They're so tight and they're turning. They almost look like robots. Um, You know what I mean? Like um, they don't have, there's no right, fluidity so look, to the pose. It's, what it's it, just like too tight. What people are doing is they're trying to, like yeah. it, it's, um, you're trying to, um, 
hit the poses. Yo, you're supposed to make them look effortless. Like it's supposed to be. It, you're supposed to be relaxed. In, it's a. It's a. Re, you're supposed to be relaxed in your poses. Right. Like I shouldn't touch you and feel every single thing in your body tensing. Like, I think people, that's overposing to me. Your chest is not supposed to be flexed, it's supposed to be hanging. I know a competitor went into amateur Olympia and tanked, because he never even practiced his posing. Didn't look on YouTube, he just went in the show for the first time. Looked terrible. Because you know as well as I do, if you hit that pose where you have your hands on it and you push down and everything, you know, push down on it, you're actually gonna pass, you're gonna look worse. Yes. You know what I mean? There's you a, wanna, you wanna be, you, it's funny you say that, cause you actually wanna be out, not in. Right, Like exactly. when you hit that pose, you want, you don't want your chest, you don't want your shoulders to be rounded in. You actually wanna be out, cause that's how you actually make yourself look wide across the rack. You don't wanna be small, you, right. when you roll your shoulders, shoulders forward, you make yourself look narrow across the rack. You want your shoulders to be back, so you look wide across the rack. So how, often would you you know suggest that people pose for like, all goddamn day show? all every goddamn day yo yeah. dude i mean um not every day all goddamn day song comes out in the car yo bro I, yo bro i tell everybody <laughs> dude i jump out the car and it's a nice day out and i see a shiny puddle bro i'm about to hit a pole front shot boom oh shit it's looking good cool chinese food window like, bro <laughs> Oh, like I shit like this, like yeah. Say you got out of the Chinese food spot and you ate a bunch of carbs, yeah. and now you get into the car and you look in the car window. I'm like, God damn, my upper rack looks awesome. Front shot. I'm a you know, 15 a, second clip. I can hit, you, but you should be able to nail your front shot in your sleep. That's how much you should do it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Your your money shot from the front should be a, a effortless pose at any drop of a dime. And what about proper shorts? Ooh, board um, shorts and stuff. All right, well, I see a trend where people are trying to wear the shorts shorter and They're shorter. They're getting tighter, too. Yo, listen, first of all, um, yo, in the if you actually look at the rulings, mm -hmm. yo, they're supposed to actually be uh, no shorter than I think is, I forgot how many inches from your knee, kneecap. Right. Like, so there is a length, there is a length. And um, I don't, I, like, I don't think the shorts should be super baggy, mm -hmm. but they shouldn't be super tight either. Like they, I'm, I'm cool with them being a little bit more fitted, but they shouldn't be like just sucking your quad. In. I don't think people should try to reinvent the wheel either. If you see people wearing dark sport or whatever, like go with that because the top pros are wearing that. Everybody's wearing that or whatever. You know, there's a whole bunch of different brands out there. If you're gonna go to Macy's, <laughs> I pick out a spot. I, I agree. You know what I, I mean? I like and try to reinvent and. Pick out these weird colors no, and everything it's, else. It's, it's this, right? Um, it isn't broken. No, that's what like, I'm saying. It, like, it, we know the companies that make the best shorts already. There's about three of them. Mm -hmm. Go get your shorts from them. Yeah, I mean, simple, what? bro. Go, you know, there's hundreds of them you can find in those three companies. There's hundreds of shorts you can find one pair you like. Yeah, when we were bodybuilding back in the day, everyone get Andre's calling supposing trunks everyone either get black, black blue or red everyone or emerald green if you were like cutting edge there was no like you know now most of the guys wear cj shorts yeah exactly but, but, but chula chula is actually infiltrated chula too. that too so now the bodybuilder so now chula in, infiltrated the whole bodybuilding game mm -hmm. so she makes shorts for every division of men's she makes yeah. men's physique shorts she makes posing trunks for classic and she makes open and uh, open posing trunks so she doesn't do bikinis, but she does everything on the men's side. Listen, there was a donut shops, and then came Dunkin' Donuts came, then Krispy Kreme, like, whatever. You know what I mean? It is what it is. There's going to be always a new flair coming into the market or whatever. And, but um, I'm just saying, stick with what the pros yes, are wearing yes, or whatever. Don't try it. If you do your first show, you know, don't go to the mall I, and buy I, a pair I, I of like what he shorts. Said, don't go to Macy's and try to, like, think you're buying some <laughs> shoes. That's what i Like, oh, these right here, nobody got them. Like, don't yeah. do it. Don't wear logos like UFC shorts or Sprawl. You know that, yo, dude, honestly, you know? all of that stuff is against the rules. Yeah, well, sometimes people don't know that, and they show up at a show yeah. with a pair, and they're like, whoa, you know. That's another thing. Read the rules um, on NPC News yo, Online. Whatever division you're in, please read the rule book, man. Like, stuff like... Yo, you see some of the men's physique guys shorts are so far down and they don't realize that if your butt crack is showing, that's a disqualification. And I've seen Gary Uta do it twice. Yeah, and right. one of the dudes was about to win the overall in the show and Gary literally disqualified, because look, he told them. Yeah. If, if, 
I, if you come back on stage for the next round and I can see your ass crack again, I'm disqualifying you. And he was the one that was, yo, dead serious. I remember the show. He looked the best in the show. He's going to win the overall. Gary disqualified. Listen, Gary ain't wrong. I don't want to see him his ass crack either. He's not wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, and, and, thank you. And, <laughs> and, and, the, and the best part about it is, yo, dude, it's not even Gary's personal opinion about it's it. The it's rules. in the rule book, bro. <laughs> Well, you know, then they, people say it's political. No, no it's the rules. the rules. They're rare for everybody. There's no an exception to the rule. No, and especially he gave you a warning, too. He verbally gave you a warning. Yeah, exactly. Like, right. like, it's not like he just threw you out the show. I'm verbally telling you that that's against the rules. Now, you, when you turn pro, right, how many shows did you do before you turned pro? Oh, shit. I did eight or nine, I think. Yeah. Now uh, four national shows. People, people are pissed if they don't go uh, pro in their first or second national show. They do one show, they do universe. Yeah. Like I can't believe it in turn pro. Yeah, I've done. T <laughs> I did Team U two or three times, bro. I, yo, dude. I, I, yo. I want to say I did four or five national shows before. I, I think I went pro on my fifth national show. I, I, yo, I was an average amateur. I don't have any overall wins as an amateur, and I only have two first place tro trophies. So you probably, you've done about 25, 26 shows in your life? 25, 26, I'm over 40, bro. Over 40? Yeah, I have, um... Wow. I have, uh... Over 40 shows? I've done 33 or 34 pro shows. And then I have another nine amateur. It's like 45 shows. Do you remember anything, like everything from those shows, or was it just one particular show? That's no, the I remember, I remember... Because you're up there quick. No, I remember things from every show, and if you, and if you name the show, then I can tell you a whole bunch about the show. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. like if you'd be like, all right, what about this show in 2017? I can I can tell you a whole bunch. I'll tell you a story about it. I'll tell you what happened to me, the Daily Show. I'll tell you a wild ass story mm -hmm. or like, uh, yeah, I got crazy shit. Like, bro, I've had wild, the, some of the wildest shit happen to me. Day before shows, like day of a show, like wild shit, bro. <laughs> uh, all I know is I remember my NPC show when I won everything. I went backstage after we did MSG, Madison Square Garden Network, go back, I had no socks. Someone stole my socks backstage. It was March, it was freezing out. I had to go out to eat, I had no socks. I'm like, who the hell stole? Yo, that's how, <laughs> yo, dude, um, somebody stole my shirt at the, yo, dude, yeah. I had a caricature shirt, right, yeah. of myself. It was a caricature of me. We ain't gonna it. wear that, bro. Somebody, no, but yo, it's probably because, on eBay for sale. Yeah, that, yo, it probably, yo, it's a hundred percent probably on eBay, bro, down. or on Poshmark for sale. And I was like, yo, I remember I couldn't find it, and I'm like, yo, and I forgot who told me, like, yo, somebody definitely stole shit. I'm like, why the fuck would they steal your shit? They're like, um, duh. They wait till he got to Olympia years later, and then they sold it for ten racks. Like, yeah, but I'm like, if you saw somebody wearing it at the show, you'd be like, that's my show. And he's like, no, it's not. No, yo, but look, <laughs> I think I think this is the problem. It's a shirt, it's a caricature of me, right? Yeah. So if you steal it, you feel, well, he probably sells those on his website. Gotcha. So right. you're probably like, well, I bought it from you. But yeah. Not knowing I he's, don't sell that. like the one and done. Like, no, yeah. it was just me and the kids who had that one, yo. So message is, keep, have someone to keep your eye on your stuff. <laughs> don't bring anything valuable. But you know what's crazy? They don't steal like cell phones and shit though backstage. Nah. You can leave all your, yeah, dude, you don't even got to put your cell phone in a bag. Like you can just leave it on the counter and it'll be right there when you come backstage. Well, don't test that out. <laughs> no, 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 but they steal like random stuff from you, like your peanut butter and shit. <laughs> Like, you know what happened to my peanut butter? You know what's at every show? Gold. Like 6,000 bands in a big pile at the end of a show, the, the exercise bands. Oh, yes. You go backstage, up like mountain high. Yeah, because everyone forgets them. And yo, dude, I'm the I'm the anal guy because I got specific ones. And mine have the ones that, that have the clips that go on them so you can make them heavier or lighter without having to use more bands. Gotcha. And so you know me, bro. If I let you hold my shit, motherfucker, I'm coming back like, yo, <laughs> I let you borrow the band, bro. Where is my, my red, <laughs> red one with the black handle that this is shaped like this? Yeah, it's funny when people don't win. They're like, you know what? I don't want my band. Oh, I, <laughs> I, I, like, yo, I, I don't want it. Listen. You have it. Like they do like, listen. oh, okay. I'll be the guy that be, yo, I'll be looking for my bands and it'll be like a bikini chick in the next division using my shit to pump up a, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, those are mine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm taking my, yo, I'm taking my bands back, bro. <laughs> I don't want to be cheap or anything. I'm That's taking, mine. I'm like, you can use another one. Like, you can use another one, but I'm taking my home. Mm, I got you. All right, well, there we go. Frank Seppi. Lucky Libra, Andrew Ferguson. Cool.